Welcome to a video summary of the JVC DLA X7000B DILA projector. You can read the full in-depth review via the link in the description. The X7000 is the first mid-range projector from JVC in almost two years and it sports a very familiar chassis and design. The lens is centrally mounted on the faceplate with air vents and exhausts to either side. There are four adjustable feet to help with table mounting and all the connections are around the back. Here you'll find two HDMI 2.0A connections that are fully compatible with HDCP 2.2 copy protection, meaning that it can accept and should play back full 4K Ultra HD content even with HDR10 high dynamic range signals. There's also the 3D emitter slot, an RS-232 control port and a 12 volt trigger. The remote control is also very similar to previous models with some very slight changes for lens memories and hotkeys for picture menu changes. Otherwise it's the usual plastic but robust easy to use remote. The menu system of the X7000 is also identical in design and layout to previous models with a few small changes to add new features including blur reduction settings. We run the projector for 40 hours before measuring and testing the image quality to check bulb stability, which was very good. Out of the box, the grayscale tracking in Custom 7500 was very good with just an excess of blue and slight reduction in red and green at the brighter levels of the scale. However, this doesn't show up on screen with normal content. The colour gamut is also well rendered and at the lower saturation points is also very accurate in its tracking. Using the full ISF C3 controls included on the X7000, we were able to get grayscale tracking to reference levels and gamma tracking at 2.4 perfectly. We can also get the colour gamut at 100% saturation looking very good indeed, but at the lower levels of 75 and below, which are the most visible points on screen, they were undersaturated with this result of CMS use. Therefore, we went back to the standard colour profile, which you can see tracks very well to the points at 75% and under. The X7000 also gives around 90% of coverage of the DCI P3 gamut, which will be used for 4K Ultra HD Blu-rays and other future 4K content. The X7000 provided a brighter performance than previous JVC models, but not at the expense of what makes the brand's projectors famous, their black levels. With correct gamma tracking, the image popped with great accurate colours and superb blacks and shadow detailing. Plus the X7000 is two grand cheaper than the previous X700 model, but it offers full 4K UHD compatibility and should also handle HDR material along with that wider colour gamut. As such, it deserves the accolade of Best Buy. You can read the full review at avforums.com forward slash reviews. You can also watch more videos at avforums.com forward slash videos. And why not follow us on Twitter? And you can also like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching.